Hey there YouTube, it's your boy B3, back with another kicking action figure review. Today we are taking a look at the McFarlane DC Multiverse Injustice 2 Reverse Flash. Yeah, I thought it would basically just be a slight retooling of uh, the Injustice 2 Flash, but it's not. It's actually very different. Not to say it doesn't have some similar and same parts, but... It really is uh, a completely different figure, which I was very surprised to find out. Even if it wasn't, still would have got it because I tried to get all the reverse flashes. You guys know I am a reverse flash nut, and I also get pretty much all the speedsters I can as well. So let's get into the figure. First up, we are going to do articulation. Uh, got a bit of up and down on the head, a little bit of that side to side. It's got a wobble there. Uh, you know, you get that torso movement. Got the same on the waist. Very cool. You know, you get that kind of joint on the arms. It's covered by this, so you can't really see it, but you can see that joint in there. Forward and back. In and out's not as good as it should be, because, you know, these kind of get in the way a little bit, but it's still doable. Bicep, elbows. You know, you got all that movement on the wrists. Oh, articulate me, Captain. In and out on the legs, forward and back. You can get him in a decent running pose. Uh, you know, kind of a little bit of that action. You got that double knee bend. Nothing on the thigh, but it's livable. Forward and back on the feet. You know, you got that kind of pivot toe peg holes for the stand, which you'll see in a sec. First up, I do want to show you his detail and paint he's a pretty heavily detailed figure he does that damn thing i don't know why the folks at mcfarland keep painting their dc figures eyes like this but he's looking to the side you remember i reviewed uh what was it Superboy prime and i was like why is he looking to the side i've even seen some like memes in action figure groups about that and then the black adam with the Frost King parts from Endless Winter, he was looking to the side like this. Reverse flashes, looking to the side like this. Stop doing this, McFarlane. Just have them look straight ahead, please. And he's a beefy guy because he's from a fighting game. <laughs> Pretty beefy. I haven't played Injustice 2 or read the Injustice 2 comics, but I really enjoyed the first Injustice game, and I really enjoyed the Injustice and Injustice Ground Zero comics. Many of which I reviewed on this channel, by the way. But yeah, he's pretty cool. Got some nice metallic silver parts. Red, yellow, lots of good detail and texture. I actually really appreciate the texture. You see how he's like textured on the joints? There's texture on the joints. You can see he's got texture on the back of the joints here. That's a lot of extra work that a lot of action figure companies wouldn't give us. That being said, they did skip on the paint on the back. When it comes to kids' toys, that's pretty much never a problem for me, but on adult collectibles, it can be a bit of an issue. You can see where stuff was supposed to be painted red on the back, and it's just not. It's just yellow, because you can see a lot of those same features on the front are red. So there should be red on his back. It's just not there. They just elected to not paint it to cut costs, which is kind of not grand, but oh well. Anyways... He looks good, and he moves well enough. So, let's get into accessories. First up, we have the trading card, which is technically not an accessory, but we'll talk about it anyways. It's one of the cards that has, like, a product shot of the figure on the front. I don't care for the ones that have product shots of the figure. It's just a... I mean, I have the figure. I don't need a picture of the figure. Now, a picture of comic art? That would be really cool. Or, like... A still from the video game, like from a cutscene or from his big fancy attack, that would be cool. But just a picture of the figure itself when I have the figure in hand, that's kind of boring. So I don't really care about the cards that have that, but it does have a decent read up and stuff. Oh well. And he does come with the standard black stand. Uh, thanks for including the stand, McFarlane. I mean, this guy stands alright by himself, but it's always nice to to have the stand option, you know? So I am thankful for how they always include a stand. A lot of action figure companies that start doing that usually stop down the line. They're just like, Ugh, we gotta cut something, we'll cut the stand. But McFarlane's to this day still has not cut the stand. Very interesting. And then there's also 
these kind of lightning bits that you add onto the arms. This is kind of a running effect where the lightning's coming off the arm. Here's one where uh, you can kind of have it coming off him as well. You can put this on the leg or arm. And then this piece is really cool. It's a throwing effect. So you see this round bit here would go like around the hands. You know, you could put it probably that, that far up. And it's like a ball of lightning. So he charges the lightning, throws lightning, a ball of lightning at his opponent. Pretty cool. That's a cool accessory. So yeah, neat stuff. Now we're going to get into, you guessed it, size comparisons. And of course, the first one I have to show him with is the Injustice 2 Flash. This will be the main figure that he goes with. Pretty rad. I think most of the figures they made for Injustice were Flash-based, because the other one was Gorilla Grodd, right? Yeah. Pretty cool. I think they look good together, and once you get up close, you can tell that they are completely different figures. It's not just some repaint with a different head, like Reverse Slash figures often are. So that's really nice that it actually is a different figure. They got the same hands, uh, and that's like it. They don't even have the same feet. It's the same hands, and then everything else is different. That's good. That's nice. Good on ya. Now... Here he is with the Dark Knight's Death Metal Wonder Woman. Pretty cool. Really a da -da 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 digging that. And then, right over here, actually, let's, there's some trading cards by him, I gotta move those. But we do have one other Injustice figure I'd like to show him with, and that is the Injustice 2. Dr. Fate, who I still need to review. I've reviewed the Wonder Woman and the Flash, but I do still need to review Dr. Fate. So, yeah, that is it. He seems to scale well with his own line, which is really what matters. Uh, he articulates fine. Could be a little better, but it's fine. Detail and paint are good. Once again, could be a little better, but fine. The accessories are good. He's an all-around good figure. I got him for under $10. He was on sale. I had coupons, so I got a bunch of DC figures when they were on sale and used my coupons as well. Saved a lot of money. But yeah, that is it. Thank you all very much for your support. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe. Check out all the cool links in the description below, Facebook, Twitter, etc. But that is it. Uh, you can support us on Patreon down in the description as well we got a lot going on there's more dc figures coming common rider ultraman godzilla i have a lot to review power rangers even more speedsters from dc so that's it thank you all once again and i'll see you all next time